Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, my name is Wes, in case this is your first time here, and the channel Interactive English, it's, it's just all about trying to help you improve your English skills, and please, if that is what you would like to do, I would love it if you would subscribe so that I could then become your English teacher. And today, I, I have a fun lesson. I think this is one that many English learners, uh, I, I think people find it interesting, they find it challenging, and we're gonna be talking about phrasal verbs. So that is what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be talking about today, but specifically, phrasal verbs with up. So all of these are phrasal verbs in which the particle that follows the verb is up, right? And I'm sure you've heard some of them before. I tried to find ones that are a little more difficult, a little more challenging, which is why I'm saying that they are advanced phrasal verbs. But the way we're going to do this, because I love it when, when you guys interact uh, with these lessons, is I'm going to present it more as a quiz. So I'm gonna give you a question or uh, like show you an article and, and blank out the verb. And I want you to write your answers in the chat or if you're watching this later, write your answer uh, in the comment. And if this is your first time here, let me know, write to me in the comments. I love hearing from, from new people as well as others who are typically here. And speaking of others who are often here, hello, good to see you, Lolly. Sleepwalker, Yashar, how's it going? Takayao, Vivian, uh, Angela, great to see uh, Ankur, so many familiar names. And as we go through this, I'll, I'll be able to give out a few more shout outs um, as you guys are answering these questions. So let's jump right into it with the first one. And I, you know, I said it's advanced. I started, this is a little easier, this first one. Um, and I just want you to <laughs> which uh, which verb goes in that blank. You see that orange square right there. So this is a like I guess kind of a, a comic image that I found. LOL, which is an acronym. It stands for Laugh Out Loud. You mm me up. So there is a verb uh, that goes in there, and the picture you can use it to help you. I told you I think just looking at the picture that's that's kind of a big hint, which is why this one I think is a little easier, but as we go through them, they will get uh, more and more challenging. So I see a couple uh, answers. Um, <clears throat> all right, hello. Oh, Vicky, Gustav, Hansa, excellent. Glad you guys can join us, uh, Gustav and, and Hans. Um, what else we see? Yesi is the first time here. Hello, welcome. So I, I see some excellent answers. Yes, Faisal, Ankur, Lali, HJ, Eloisa, uh, Yashar, Gina. The answer is crack. So in this case, typically I would, I think I would have taken, I forgot to put that extra one in there and take that off. You crack me up, LOL, crack me up. The egg is cracked. And the egg is laughing because to crack up means to laugh with great enthusiasm. This is a little bit more informal. I think often people would just say, oh, you make me laugh. But informally, people would say, oh, you crack me up. The next one, which um, this, uh, this is definitely, I think, a little more challenging, this phrasal verb um, or this verb with up. So this is actually taken from an article I found. This, uh, the founder of Zappos, they, they passed away in 2020, a couple of years ago. And this is a, a very wealthy person. Um, it says they had a fortune of $500 million. But this line right here, uh, I'll read it for you um, in case you're having a hard time seeing it. I know it's small. It says, so he passed away, had this fortune of 500 million. And it says, and so his friends and family are now grappling with how to mm up his empire. So they're trying to mm up his empire. They're trying to uh, figure out a way to, well, the meaning down here, to divide and share something. In this case, they're, they're talking about dividing and sharing um, all of that money. So which, which verb goes in there? And this one, like I said, this one is definitely a little more challenging. I don't know if you've heard of it before, if it's a new phrasal verb for you, then I'm happy that you've you've learned something new. I have not seen the correct answer in here, which is why I'm kind of 
<laughs> drawing this out. Uh, so I'll go ahead and tell you. The, it's not to, to build up. So you could say I'm going to build up an empire, in which case you are getting more. But in this case, they're talking about dividing it. They're trying to share something. So the correct answer is divvy. All right, divvy up. I see that in there, Gina. I saw the last second. Excellent, good job. So if you're going to, to divvy something up, it just means to divide and share. And often I think you might hear people using this when you're asking, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to divide it up? How are we going to divvy this up? How are we going to divvy it up? So to divvy up means to divide or share something. If this phrasal verb is new, if you learn something new, please let me know, hit the, hit the like button. That way it tells me, okay, this, this number of people learn something new in this lesson. The next one that we have um, is, well, okay, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is from a, a meme. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Mm up. And they're saying it with that exclamation at the end. Mm up. Now, hopefully you can try to think about it based on the context of what, what's going on. You have this cat who uh, is not very happy. Like, oh, did I hurt your feelings? Well, mm up. Which verb goes before up in this case? And I'll give you a little bit of a hint. Um, I don't want to give you too much of a hint. When you would say this to a person to tell them to, well, be more mature and uh, <laughs> act like uh, act like an adult. So that that's the phrase. That's the the context because there are other words that could go in there. I see somebody else saying like "shut up," which <laughs> yes, that would that would work technically. Um, suck it up is another good guess that would that also fits that's not the one that I'm looking for if you're talking about to to be more mature act like an adult you would tell somebody yes Sheha got it Faisal uh, medlife perfect grow grow up so in this case oh did I hurt your feelings oh grow up so again if you're telling somebody to grow up often people would think of the meaning that somebody is um, maybe they're getting older or a place that they lived and this is where they spent their childhood like i grew up in the southeast part of the united states for me but in this case we're talking about grow up to behave like an adult and it, you're using it to criticize someone who you think is being silly or unreasonable um you say oh grow up grow up um, man up. All right, man up. That would also work in this context. I like that. Uh, so the next one that I have, again, these are all phrasal verbs with up. This one's um, from recent, friends. It's from the Olympics. So this is from an article headline. And you can see the Olympics, the Winter Olympics are going on in Beijing. And it says that... Uh, Beijing 2022, U.S. Mm, up against Slovakia in ice hockey. Which, um, which verb best completes that? I've given you the meaning down here because I think just trying to put it into context can be a little challenging. We will get to that later on because I'm going to take, these, take the meaning away. So, mm, up means to make a mistake. U.S. Mm, up against Sl Slovakia in ice hockey shock. All right, what do you think to make a mistake? Mess up, I see some people saying mess up is, it, that is also making a mistake. You wouldn't, not using it in this context, you wouldn't say it. Um, what else do we have? Um, <laughs> screw up, screw up. Yes, that also works like uh, you, you make a mistake. That's more informal, so it's probably not something that you're going to see in like a newspaper headline. Uh, so hopefully this is another one that's new for you. Excellent, Yashar, you knocked it out of the park. Um, that's the one we're looking for, slip up. So actually I should have chosen, showed it to you in the article, sorry about that. Um, so to slip up means to make a mistake, simply put. And like I said, you could, some people, you get, I see a lot of people saying screw up. 
that that also means the same thing. I think screw up more is you make a, a, a bad mistake. So it's also more informal. So it's not one that you might see in like a news headline like screw up. The one thing I would say in this case probably that makes slip up more appropriate is because you're making a mistake when the expectation is that you should not. So the U.S. hockey team, uh, just looking, reading it on context, the U.S. hockey team should have won, but they made a mistake. They slipped up. So that's a, another little nuance that you could think about, like you're slipping up where the expectation is that you probably should not have made a mistake here. Um, so to slip up means to make a mistake. Somebody said, I've never heard this one before. Awesome. Excellent. You learned a new one. Perfect. <laughs> that's what that's what I like to hear. Then uh, here is the next one. Um, this one I'm just giving you the definition, and I want to see. I want to see if you can put in that missing verb. Um, somebody asked. Yes, these are. I. I mean, I labeled them as advanced phrasal verbs. I tried to find ones that I think are a little more challenging and difficult. So. To move towards someone or something, especially in a confident way. And you would mm up to this person. And uh, yeah, I think you to, to a person or something. And I'm going to show you this in a song to give you a hint. Uh, the song goes, uh, he mm up to me and he asked me if I wanted to dance. Okay, that's that's the song. If you want to listen and put that in context, he mm, up to me and he asked me if I wanted to dance. Uh, I'll, I'll show this to you in a little bit. So, to move towards someone and something, especially in a confident way, that's <clears throat> that's the key word I think right there. It's a confident way. And yes, Vivian, uh, you got it. Excellent. So, the answer is to walk to walk up to someone or something. Now, I will tell you that the meaning actually, instead of move, it's to walk towards someone, especially in a confident way. I took out walk because then it would have just made it too, too easy. So think about it. If you walk up to someone, then you, you, are, you are walking toward them, but you have like a confident way. Like there's something that you want to tell this person, you need to tell this person, you feel confident to say something and you walk up to them. People might say, I'm gonna walk up to him and, and let him know what's on my mind. So I told you that you would um, find this in this song. This is a, it's an old song, all right? Maybe I'm, I'm dating myself. Um, so the song is Then He Kissed Me by the Crystals. You can look up and listen to the YouTube video. It's a song maybe you've heard the, in a movie or a TV show. The song begins, that first line, Well, he walked up to me and he asked me if I wanted to dance. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to sing the whole song. I don't want you to leave. I know my singing is really bad. But to walk up to someone, you're, you're walking toward them in a confident way. Okay, so the next one, again, hopefully, maybe that one's new. I think hopefully some of these are, are new for you. Uh, I took this one from uh, another meme. So this, you can see that the picture right there, that's uh, an image from the movie Lord of the Rings. And he's saying, one does not simply mm up a date without asking my opinion. Mm up a date without asking my opinion. So I've given you, again, for this one, I've given you the meaning right down here. You arrange a meeting between two people with the aim of encouraging some uh, romantic relationship between them. And you would mm up a date. In this, this is the context right here. One does not simply mm up a date without asking my opinion. What do you guys think? Um, so, all right. I think, yeah, this is uh, one that I think you're probably more familiar with because we're, you, you, you have that keyword dating. And when people talk about dating, they may use this phrasal verb. And yes, um, Maxime, Maxime, HJ, MZZ, uh, Marksman, trying to throw out some 
new uh, <coughs> shout outs. Harry, uh, yes, Esther, the, the answer, Sarah, the answer is set. So in this case, like one does not simply set up a date without asking my opinion. So you might hear people use it in the context like to set someone up. In that case, you're setting someone up on a date. So I told you, I think this one is probably one you may be a little more familiar with. You're arranging a meeting between two people with the aim of encouraging a romantic relationship between them to set someone up. Uh, all right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, we're gonna keep running through these. All of these, again, are phrasal verbs with up, advanced <laughs> phrasal verbs with up. Because it seems like just listening, looking at some of the answers, that some of these may be new for you, which is good. So once again, this is taken from an article. And in this article, I've blocked out the times when they use this verb. So Liam Gallagher on Oasis is talking about the old um, the music group. And he's saying, we should never have mm up. All right, which verb best completes that statement. <clears throat> and to give you a, a little more context, I think if you kept reading right there, it says in an interview, uh, Liam Gallagher said he believes Oasis should never have mm up. He also said he would love to get the band back together. So that's giving you a little more context, making it easier. Down here, they use the same phrasal verb, but you know, I love him. He adds, we mm up nearly 13 years ago. It's ridiculous. We can go on about whose fault it is, but he's his own man. So again, they're talking about this group that was together and now they're not. All right. So again, um, the end, no, I see some people like give up, um, should never have. Uh, now, again, in that case, give up, we should never have given up, which again, giving up, like, you know, quitting. We're not quitting again. Think about together and then not together. <clears throat> Hopefully, like met up, no, break up. Break up is ending it, um, but that's not the one we're looking for. Okay, so, wow, I haven't seen, oh, Maxime got this answer. So again, I told you that we're not, the, the key would be like in this situation, the band is not together. They've they are separated they well i'll just tell you the answer the answer is split that's what uh we were looking to split up is to end a relationship or marriage and you could say somebody split up so there are different ways again you could say this um a lot of people put like oh people broke up in that case i think if somebody breaks up that's more of a relationship like you're dating somebody and then two people break up and they're not together anymore in this case like you're you're ending a relationship in which they were this is a band so it's not they're not dating so you wouldn't really you say uh they they broke up um even though i think some band people will talk about bands and say yeah the band broke up um you could use it in that context but i think it is common if you're talking especially about music like yeah the band they split up uh they split up last year so in this case he's saying like they 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 split up nearly 13 years ago we should never have split up is the the up phrasal verb that we're looking for so again it's to end a relationship or marriage and maybe i don't know if that one's new again hit hit that like button <laughs> hit that like button again just keep just keep hitting it if it's new um to split up this is one where once again i've given you the just the the definition the meaning and i want you to think of which verb should go there so it's to talk to someone whom one has not seen for some time in order to find out what they've been doing all right you're you, you haven't seen this person for a long time. You want to talk to them to find out what they've been doing. And you'd say, oh, you know, we really need to mm up. Please, let's mm up sometime. <laughs> okay, which, which verb 
would complete that sentence. All right, please write your answer in the chat or in the comments. I want you to participate in these lessons. And this one, I feel like uh, maybe it's a little easier. Again, you're, you, you guys know this context. You can think about it like, yeah, we really need to mm up. So great job, Sleepwalker, Angela, Yashar, um, Nizretta. We're talking about catch, to catch up. So here is the answer. Yes, to catch up, you're talking to someone who you haven't seen in a long time and you want to find out how they've been doing. And you might say to that person, oh, we really need to catch up or Let, let's catch up. Uh, let's go grab a coffee and we'll catch up. Here is a fun little, uh, <laughs> I thought this was funny. So this is, a, again, this is more of a joke saying, let's catch up by asking mutual friends about each other. And I say it's a joke because they're saying, like, we're not going to talk to each other directly. We're going to ask our other friends what, what each other has been up to. So we don't have to talk to each other. So this is kind of just making a joke about this. But when you catch up with someone, you're, you're talking to somebody you haven't seen in a while because you want to know what they've been doing. Okay, the next one. Here we go. Right here. This was taken actually from, a, like, a Reddit <laughs> Reddit comment. I really, I really don't use Reddit that much, but I, this worked for this phrasal verb. And this one, I, I think this one is more challenging. This is more advanced. Um, it's one that maybe you've heard. I don't know how often you would use it because it is fairly specific. So the the title of this Reddit thread: <clears throat> Signs really mm up the place. And to give you a little bit more of a hint, think about that last part of that, that phrase right there, mm, up the place, is a context in which people would often use this phrasal verb and say, wow, it really mm, up the place. What do you think? Signs really mm, up the place. So I, this one's more challenging because I'm not giving you the meaning to help you out. Uh, I, the only hint that I'm giving you is thinking about that last play, phrase. Mm, up the place. You're thinking about, well, it makes it better. It makes it more entertaining. And you'd say, wow, this really changes this room for the better. It really mm, up the place. <laughs> I told you, maybe this one's new. I definitely think this one is more advanced. It's more specific. Um, but one that, yeah, you could still try to listen for. So the answer, I haven't seen any correct answers, so I'm just, I'm just going to tell you guys what the answer is. The answer is to liven, to liven up the place. So, sorry, I, I should have just taken it away and shown you how it, it's there, but signs really liven up the place. So if you say something livens up the place it means it becomes more interesting or exciting or to make something become more interesting or exciting and typically you might hear people use this in that context like somebody they change the room and they put up some pictures or they um they remodel it or they do something to to change it and you'd say wow this really livens up the place it makes it more interesting or exciting so typically you would use it in a complimentary way and you would say something really livens up the place it makes it more exciting i don't know think about like if i were to ask you guys think of your room right now what could you add to your room to make it more interesting what could you add to make it just, just to liven up the place a little, okay? So again, hopefully this one is new. Hopefully you're you're learning some new phrasal verbs. That's is this is why I said they're uh, ad advanced. Then uh, here again, here's another one, which I think is more common. So maybe you'll know it. I'm giving you. Uh, I have given you the just the definition, and I want you to think of which verb goes in there to fail to take advantage of an opportunity to um up what do you think to um up and i i'm sure that you've heard this phrasal verb before i think it is pretty common because you would hear people in that situation to fail to take advantage 
of an opportunity. I would say, please don't mm up the opportunity to subscribe to the channel so that you'll and, and turn on notifications so that you learn about future lessons and I can become your teacher. Please do not mm up <laughs> on this opportunity that you have right now. Um, so the answer is not miss or mess. Um, again, you're talking about an opportunity. Don't mm up on this opportunity. You hear people possibly use it in that statement. So you're, you fail to take advantage of it. You're basically, it's like you've, you've turned it down. And I think once I tell you the answer, you'll probably be like, oh, yeah, I've, I've heard that before. So if you fail to take advantage of an opportunity, then you are passing up on it, to pass up, um, to t fail to take advantage of it. So think about, yes, excellent, um, Gustav, Hans, perfect, pass up. So think about that context I gave you, like saying, like, you know, working in that plug, like telling you to subscribe, like don't don't pass up on the opportunity to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Don't fail to take advantage of it. And people would use it in that context, like don't pass up on this opportunity, especially if it's like a good one to pass up. Uh, all right, so I have another one, some more. Oh, this is, a, here's a good example, this quote from uh, Winston Churchill, famous quote. Never pass up the chance to sit down or go to the bathroom, okay? Famous quote by Winston Churchill, food for thought. <laughs> All right. I think, again, this is, I think, just a joke, um, but it's another example of using pass up. This is not, I do not think this is an actual quote that, that um, he used, but I like it nonetheless. Never pass up the chance to sit down or go to the bathroom. That's very true. Uh, all right. Um, here is another one, which I think, I think this one's a little easier. I think you um, will probably get this one, I hope. So this is also current events. I was unaware of this, that Robert Pattinson used to m mm up as Batman his entire childhood. And I've also blocked it out down there. Uh, they're saying the, the same thing. So Robert Pattins Pattinson used to m mm up as Batman his entire, entire childhood. <clears throat> the reason why I say this one, uh, it's a little bit of current events because apparently Robert Pattinson is going to be the new Batman. Um, I feel like in my lifetime, there have been many different Batmans. Some have been good, others not so good. I'm not really sure about how I feel about this one uh, <laughs> with Robert Pattinson. I guess I'll have to see the movie when it comes up. So, <clears throat> hello, Mariano. How are you doing? Excellent. Uh, yes, Lolly, uh, you got it. Ava, Jane, um, Yashar, Sajid, Sajid. Um, we're, we're talking about Esther dressing up. Robert Pattinson used to dress up uh, as Batman his entire childhood. That was what we're going through. So, to dress up, you're saying... Um, to put on special clothes in order to change your appearance. This one I think is more common. I imagine you have heard this one before, like you're dressing up as some character or you're dressing up for Halloween or for a party. Um, okay, thank you. So, <laughs> that Winston Churchill, that never pass up a chance to go to the loo. That's probably more accurate as to what Winston Churchill would have said. Yes, he would have said the loo instead of the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, then I have, I think there's another one. Okay, so this is another, like, just a funny example of a mug, apparently. But this is a, I, I think this one is a little more advanced. Um, but it's a good and useful phrasal verb to know. Not in this context, but I'll, once you know the meaning. So it says, never take advice from me, you'll mm up drunk. Can you guess which verb would go in that uh, that statement. Again, this is supposed to be just a funny little joke um, that's on a mug. I've seen some like t-shirts too that say the same thing. They're just like novelty mugs or novelty t-shirts. But which verb best completes that sentence? Never, never take advice from me, you'll mm up drunk. And wow, everybody seems to be knocking this one out of the park. Excellent. 
Great job. Uh, first one to answer was Silvio. Nice. Myra, HJ, um, Nosredna, William, Allison, Brian, Eloisa. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, we're we're talking about Lolly. Nice job. Um, to end up drunk is the actual um, what the actual statement is. So to end up is to reach or come to a place, condition, or situation that was not planned or expected. So like you'll end up in some condition or you'll end up in some place. So it's a it's a very I think it's a useful phrasal verb. It's one that's pretty common. Also um, another one with up. So in that case again it's saying. Don't take my, never listen, take my advice, you'll, you'll end up drunk, as though this person's advice is always to, I guess, drink alcohol. So here, just to, to show you guys a little bit of review, here is the word list of the different phrasal verbs that we talked about, and some of them have multiple meanings, and I tried to make the meaning a little more challenging, like I said, grow up has different meanings, but in the one that we were talking about, it was like to act more mature, like somebody saying, oh, grow up. So here are the 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 ones that uh, we talked about. I will put these notes up on for the, the patrons and um, YouTube members, so keep an eye out for that. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson. I hope some of these phrasal verbs were new. If they are, again, you can let me know by hitting that like button is the best way to do that. And please write to me in the chat or write to me in the comments um, once this gets posted. I love hearing from people, especially if there was one that was new and like, yes, I learned something new today. I love hearing that. So thank you guys so much for, for joining me. And I just, again, thank you, uh, Sleepwalker, Lolly, Takayo, Yashar, Angela, Gustav, Hans, um, Great to see all of you today. Um, who else is in there? Mariano. Excellent. Eloisa Sherrod, thank you guys. I, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And